Hello YouTubers, welcome to another video from Techie SMS. In this video, we will make a project of a product called Omi. Now if you don't know what is Omi, let me brief you. It's a portable nightlight whose color we can change using our smartphone. And we can also set its brightness by mechanically rotating the disc on the device. Now if you want to know more about this uh, uh, product, you can definitely watch my tech update video uh, containing the clip of this product called Omi. I've particularly found this uh, product simple and attractive. So I studied this product and put down it into a DIY project. So let's see how to make this. So for making Omi, I have used Arduino Pro mini board, HC05 Bluetooth module, a rotary encoder and an RGB LED strip. Initially, I tested uh, this code on my Arduino Mega board and then I uploaded it on my Pro mini board. Now if you don't know how to program your Pro mini board, watch out my video uh, in which I have explained the two methods of programming the Pro mini board. Okay, so first uh, let's have a look towards the code and then we will move on to the circuit. Okay, so this is the code for our OMI project. So first of all, uh, here I have defined the pins required for the hardware. The first three are for the... Okay, I have just missed out the red. Okay, so these are the three for RGB LEDs and these two are for this uh, rotary encoder, which is must for the uh, encoder. We need to have two pins. And these are some... Uh, and these are some variables which are initialized to zero, which is required for this uh, logic. So you can leave it as it is. So in the void setup, I established the serial communication between the Bluetooth module and our Pro Mini board at 9600 baud rate. Now you need to fix the baud rate before, uh, you know, making the communication between the Pro Mini and HC05 module. Now if you don't know how to change the baud rate of your HC05 Bluetooth module or if you don't know how to configure this uh, Bluetooth module in AT command modes, do let me know in the comments below. You can mail me so that I can uh, make a tutorial video on this also. So if you know, it's it's better for you and uh, you can just change it to uh, 9600 before what we can say uploading this code. So after that, I have, I have defined the input and output pins. So it is just normal. Okay, so this is the initialization of this LED strip. So first of all, the LEDs will uh, glow to red, then green, then blue, and then white, which is almost white. It is not uh, perfectly white. So, okay, it's it's okay, no problem. So, okay, this is for this uh, rotary encoder. So after that, the code begins that if serial.available is greater than zero, if there is uh, incoming data from the Bluetooth module to the Arduino or uh, to the Pro Mini board, then its condition will be satisfied. It will jump into this code. So it will just uh, separate out this red, green and blue values and will store into the red integer, green integer and blue integer variable. So after that, this <coughs> constraint function will uh, limit this value of red in from 0 to 255 so it will just limit out this as we have a 8 bit adc so we have the maximum value 255 so it is just limiting this value so after that it will again check for uh, the available data and it will jump or it will send the data of red green and blue led to the set color function which is defined in the last okay this is a set color function which will nothing which will take three inputs that is red green blue input and will just uh, assign to the uh, required or the particular pin of that led so i have done this uh, subtraction of 255 minus the value because i am using that my led strip as common anode if you have common cathode led you don't need to do this you can just comment out so check before uploading the code whether it is a common anode or common cathode so this set color variable will just write this value to the leds Okay, so here it is completed. Now this whole logic is for the rotary encoder. Now how the rotary encoder works. So in rotary encoder, if you just uh, rotate the shaft of the, uh, what you can say, huh, shaft of the rotary encoder on the one side, it will increment the value or the counter will be incremented. I have just uh, incremented it by five. So on each uh, shift, the counter will be incremented by five. And so my values of the LEDs or the brightness of my, or the color of the LEDs will be incremented by five on one dot on one shift. And on the and one shift on the anti-clockwise will decrease the value 
of the counter by phi. So this is the simple function of rotary encoder to increase and decrease the counter. Okay, so this is the code about the OMI project. So now let's test this by uploading. Okay, now let's upload the code on our Pro Mini board. I'm using my USB to TTL converter for this. You can also code using your Arduino board. I'll watch out my video to know more. Okay, this time I also made a casing to make it look like the original Promi product. So I took a circular box which has a reddish transparent base and a clear transparent top. I took out the head of my fan regulator which got easily fitted onto my rotary encoder. I attached this as it will easily get attached on my transparent top of my box and with this we can easily rotate this encoder by rotating the top of the box. Then I placed all the required components inside the box so that I can know the available space for batteries. I have used two 9 volt batteries, one for the LED strip and another for the Pro Mini board and H05 and all of the components. I also used the 7805 regulator IC to step down the voltage for Pro Mini board. Okay, so all the components got perfectly fit into this box. Now I will shoulder out all the components one by one based on the circuit diagram. Now let's test this shoulder circuit. Now according to the code, LED strip must initialize in the sequence of red, green, blue and white. Okay, now let's open the app on our phone and connect it to the HC05 module. Okay, so I'm able to change the color based on whatever color I'm touching in the app. As the Bluetooth and the LED are perfectly shouldered. Now let's test the rotary encoder. Okay, so I'm able to vary the brightness of the strip so the encoder is also perfectly shouldered. So moving on towards the packaging again. As the base of the box is reddish transparent, some of the light will pass through it. So to make it opaque, I cut, I'm cutting this white paper sheet to form a circle and stick it onto the base. In the same manner, I'm cutting the long strip to cover the border of this circular box. Using glue stick, I stick all the paper onto this box. After that, we'll take our circuit and a double-sided sticky tape. I have attached a piece of this tape behind every component of our project. And after that, I attached all the components in their respective positions. Except this rotary encoder. As I need to provide a little height to this component so that it, I can rotate its shaft. So for providing some height, I have used a dead battery. So I stick the battery on the box and over this battery I have attached my rotary encoder. So let's connect the battery and test in this position. Whoa, it looks amazing. Let's change the brightness. Perfect. Now to diffuse this light coming out of the box, I'm using this butter paper. I'll cut out the paper according to the dimension of my transparent top of top of the box. Sticking this butter paper with the help of the glue stick. After that, I'll attach a piece of double sided tape on the head of the rotary encoder. Now the last step, placing the top of the box over the rotary encoder. And yeah, we are done with our OMI. So now let's play with this. This is it about today's project. Subscribe my channel to get notified for such upcoming projects. Till then, explore, learn, share, and be techy SMS.